Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and today I'm getting ready to go to an event. Surprise, surprise, I always film when I'm getting ready. Today I'm going to the American Influencer Awards. I've actually never been before. My friend Alex J is taking me. You might know him from the Bite Beauty Lip Lab video, which I'm gonna link right up here. And a lot of you have been asking for normal, quote unquote, looks using the Melt Amor Eterno collection. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I think I'm gonna stick to just the Muerte. I might dip into the Vida, we'll see. So that's it, I've already done my skin. Today I used the Milk Man Makeup, Hydro Grip Primer, their matte foundation, the Huda Beauty Tan Tour, the Milk Powder. To prep my lips, I used this thing that I've actually never mentioned it, but I use it all the time. It's the Cannabis Bliss Kiss Balm CBD Lip Treatment, and this stuff is so nourishing, it's insane. You only need a little teeny tiny bit, a tiny bit goes a long way, and I always apply it when my lips are super, super dry and gross, and it does a really great job of bringing them back to life. This one and the Tatcha Camellia lip balm are two of my favorites for bringing really dry lips back to kind of normal. And I did my brows as always with the NYX Hot Single Shadow in the color Raven and the little Essence Liner Brush. Now with all that being said, I'm gonna get right to it, but before I begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So I've been staring at this palette since they announced it and I've been wanting to mix the reds and the blues in one single look. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be doing a deep blue eye that smokes out into red. So I'm gonna be using the reds around the edges. Hopefully it'll work out, we'll see. I think, however, I'm gonna start with the blue and then move on to the red, just so I can kind of place it exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna start with Noche Eterna, which is this matte navy blue. It is so gorgeous, but it is also so pigmented, so I'm gonna be careful. So I'm taking that color on a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat it in place and I'm gonna concentrate it in my crease. And I think today I'm gonna to be doing like a long eye shape, a very pointed and sleek shape, but I'm gonna start patting that and slowly building to that point. Just very slowly, don't have to rush this. Not exactly on a time crunch, but kind of. I've got an hour and a half to do my makeup, which should be enough time. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way into my crease. I don't wanna go too upwards with it because that's where I'll be adding the red, but I definitely do want to add this blue to kind of demarcate the eye shape. This color is gorgeous. I'm also gonna add that very, very close to my bottom lash line as close as I can. I'm gonna do a similar shape to actually another look that I did using Melt, and that was the blueprint stack look, and it was very, very pointed, very sharp. I just think that shape is really flattering for my eye and face shape, so I'm gonna stick with it. Now, I'm not necessarily done with the blue, but I'm gonna move on to the red, and I'm gonna use the color Corazon on a little teeny tiny fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start applying that right along the edge, blending it out. Now this is a very kind of unconventional color combo, so you might have to take a little bit extra care and time because it's not a natural transition to go from blue to red to skin tone. So I'm just going little by little I also want the colors to be distinct. I don't want this to just turn into like a purple muddy mess, you know what I mean? So while yes, I am blending those edges together, I still want it to be very visible that there's blue and then there's red. Am I even in focus? I think I wasn't in focus. I apologize. And then I'm gonna take a small pencil brush so I can do the same on the bottom edge. Blend it out with the little fluffy brush. This brush that I'm using is the Crown Deluxe Crease. I really love it for doing like little tiny detail stuff like this. It's a really, really tiny brush. It's also good if you have smaller eyes. Whenever I have a client that has kind of smaller eyes, I go for smaller brushes. It just makes things a lot easier. Blending it into that inner corner. Now I kind of feel like my brows should be longer. I might elongate them when I'm done. Now I'm gonna go back in with that blue and go over the areas that got a little erased by all the blending. 
I'm going to take another pencil brush to pack that blue even more concentrated. Oh wow, that really intensifies things. Then back again with the red. Sometimes you have to do a back and forth between the colors to make sure that they're all quite visible and as vibrant as you want them to be. I also might go in with sangre. Just a, a tad, just right where the red and the blue meet. Even though that color is very dark, oh boy. <laughs> it might help with that blend a little bit because this color tends a little more purple, so it is kind of a mixture of those two colors. Just makes blending things a little easier. And then back with blue, just to get right in here in this little tail end so that it doesn't get lost. I'm actually taking an even smaller, it's kind of like a pencil brush, taking that first red and just lightly going around to really blend that out. There we go. Now I think I'm also going to take the color Kalaka on that brush that I used for the very outer edge and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and just help blend out that red edge even more and I'm definitely going to elongate my brows. But I'm going to finish up the eyes before I move on to the brows or to anything else. I'm now going to take the color Katrina and I'm going to use my finger to apply it to the very center of my lid. And this is a shimmery blue. I think on a base, this would really pop. Oh, I should have used the, hmm, is it too late to use the Santos gel liner as a base? Let's see, hold on. Shouldn't be doing this layering powder with cream and powder, but I'm gonna take the Santos Reflect Gel Liner on a flat brush, and I'm just going to use that all over the lid as a base for this eyeshadow. And I definitely should have thought of this sooner. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to do this first on this eye once I get to it. So I'm putting that on and you can see that really helps to intensify the blue because it's a really gorgeous like royal blue. And then I'm going to take Katrina on my finger again and just pat that on. Oh, that's pretty. See, that just adds a little more oomph to the eye and it helps out with the shimmer in that shadow. And then I'm going to take my little pencil brush with Noche Eterna again and I'm just going to do the edge around it because I did go over that crease a little bit with a shimmer and I don't want that. So just making sure I go all around to keep the shimmer just right on the lid. Okay, now I'm just gonna do it the proper way on camera so you guys can see. I'm taking the liner first and just applying that all over. The thing I love about gel liners is that you can also use them as a shadow base, especially these melt ones because they're so creamy. They're so easy to spread out. And then just taking Katrina and patting that on. I'm also going to take some on my brush so that I can be really precise here in the inner corner. And boom, you have yourself a beautiful shimmery blue eye. Now normally I'd go in with like a gold in the inner corner or a really light blue, but I kind of, I don't know, I want to make this a little bit weird, have the color combo be a little bit different and stick to the palette. So I think I'm going to go with Lagrimas, which is a matte teal color, and I'm going to take that and put it in the inner corner. And that just gives a kind of weird spin. It's just a really interesting color combo. And then to finish it off, I think I'm going to go with a tiny, tiny bit of Angelito, just right in the very, very inner corner. Mm, I might use that wet, actually. So I'm getting my brush wet with some setting spray. I'm just going to place that right in that inner corner. Oh yeah. This definitely gives a nice bit of brightness to the inner corner that a matte shade just doesn't give. And I do love me bright inner corner. For my waterline, I'm gonna try a pencil that I've never used before. This is the Absolute Perfect Wear Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Shamrock. And it seems to be a pretty good match to this inner eye color. I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand because it seems to be really dry. Hope that it works on my waterline. Yeah, nope, 
See, it's not coming out. Ah, and surprisingly, I don't have any other teal liners, which is like super weird. Since I don't have another teal liner, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the color Unlimited Blue. This is a light blue. Hopefully it won't clash too much. Mm, I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll have to do. Then for my top lash line, I'm taking the Ritual Defee Black Orb and I'm gonna be wearing lashes. So I just wanna push this at the root of my lashes. I've been loving this liner for this purpose. You can really get just right in there. I feel like if you really push it in well enough, you can kind of skip tight lining or you can also tight line with it. At least I hope you can. It is eye safe, so I imagine you can. Okay, there, I just tight lined with it. That way it doesn't look like I'm wearing liner, but it will hide the lash band for sure. Who knew? I actually don't hate tight lining with a brush. I absolutely despise it with a pencil though. So maybe if you hate tight lining your eyes, try it with a gel liner and a little tiny angle brush. You might have better luck. Now I'm gonna go in with a heavy coat of mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated. You guys already know how much I love this mascara. Today I was all happy that I didn't do super long brows because I tend to really exaggerate my brows when I do them. But this eye look just kind of begs for it. You kind of have to have brows that compete with it. See? That looks better. Now for bronzer, I want to go in with the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the color Capri Coast. I used this for the first time the other day and I actually really liked it. So I'm just gonna add that a little bit to my cheeks. I don't think I'm gonna go in with a blush. I'm just gonna stick to bronzer. Kinda, mm, okay, no, that's not true. I am gonna go in with a blush. I'm also gonna bronze the sides of my temple. I'm gonna take the Essence Fall Back to Nature palette and I'm gonna go for Say Yes to Maroon. That might be a little dark, so pretty for Mr. Apple. I might mix the two, the shimmery and the matte. Oh, you can't see that. The shimmery and the matte. Because I want to redden this up so it kind of matches the eye look. So that it's a bit more consistent throughout my face. I'm going to go in just with the top shimmery blush. Blend that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the color Lit. And this is one of the most gorgeous highlighters on the planet. It gives that wet skin look. That's great, especially for photos, and we're definitely gonna be taking pictures tonight. I'm applying that kind of as a blush topper as well. And then if it goes a little overboard, you can just take your blush brush. But I love having it on my cheeks, on my chin. Cupid's bow, tip the nose in between my eyes. And I think I'm also gonna apply it to my collarbone. I'm going to have a very plunging neckline. So I'm gonna do some highlighting here. And this is the finished look. I went ahead and put on lashes and lipstick. My glue is still drying, so please ignore that. For lips, I used a mixture of two lipsticks. I used the Dose of Colors Extra Saucy and the Fenty Beauty Undefeated. And then for my lashes, I used the Rouge and Rogue Faux Mink Luminara Lashes. And Alex is almost here to pick me up, so I've got to go. I hope you guys like this look. It's something that's definitely a lot more wearable than the skull look that I created with the collection originally. And it's just got a really different vibe to it because of the unconventional mixture of colors. So I'm really happy with it. I went a little overboard on the blush, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons who support me and I'll see you next time. Bye.